Uh, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> uh, we all believe in each other, you know. Um, so no matter what the score is or situation we're in, we, we understand that, you know, guys can make big plays. We've got guys that can make big plays all over the court on the defensive end and the offensive end. And that's what we did tonight. Uh, David, uh, you guys are ready for this big road trip coming up? Uh, yeah, we're, we're ready. But, we you know, we take it one game at a time. So we're focused on the next game. So... We just have to, um, we can't be satisfied. We can't be complacent. We just have to take it one game at a time and just play, um, just play with urgency. Uh, Cody, what has it meant, meant to you to, for the, um, the, the production that you've had the last two games, especially today, getting some of those tough baskets inside in the second half as you guys were, were making that run? What, what has it meant to you to be able to, to contribute so much? Um, it just, uh, I don't know, it just makes me happy that I was able to contribute to the team and help us win the game, you know. So <laughs> it's not more to it than that, you know. At the end of the day, I want to win, and everybody on the team wants to win. So we're going to do whatever it takes. And if it takes me uh, stepping up sometimes, that game it was me. Next game might be somebody else. we got a lot of players on the team that can do it. So looking forward to it. David, you've hit some uh, really big threes the last few games. You know, how, how has uh, your confidence been and, uh, you know, your, your comfort level uh, shooting, uh, um, shooting out there? My confidence is it's obviously up right now. You know, I see shot, one shot go in and then another and then another. So it's going to be up. But my comfort level, you know, I've gotten real comfortable with coaching his game plan. I'm starting to figure stuff out. I'm starting to learn it, learning how to uh, take my time and, uh, and to execute. So it's been, it's been really good for me. There was a sequence, uh, I don't know, four or five minutes left in the game, and you actually just missed one, but I saw Chris come over and kind of, it was like a dead ball situation. Chris came over and kind of patted you and as if to give you some encouragement, and then you hit the next one to go up by seven. Uh, did he have a special message for you or anything in that moment? Uh, uh, it's really not a special message. It's just a message to all shooters. I tell it to Jake all the time. He just told me to keep shooting. You know, we need you to shoot. Um, so it's really, you know, it's really good to have that belief from my teammates and it gives me a sense of a conf confidence and a comfort level. Uh, Chris, when did you guys see this thing start to turn around and, and what made you guys believe that you could start winning? I, I believe we were winning from the tip. I, shit. <laughs> it wasn't a second in that game that I thought we were going to lose it. No, but this season? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, be facts. Be facts. Um, I, I mean, I don't know. It's just we get in the gym every day. You know, we practice all the time. Uh, coach is always on us. And, you know, it just took us a little time to, I guess, mesh and, you know, build the chemistry that we have at the moment. Um, and the defensive aspect of the game, you know, it took a little time for us to, you know, uh, figure out, you know, what Cronin was preaching. Um, but now, as you can see, everybody's buying in to everything Cronin's, uh, Cronin's preaching, especially on the defensive end, because that's what got us back in this game. And the seven games we won out of the last nine, it was all defense, you know? Um, but I, I, don't, I don't know when the turning point was. Uh, we just understood that we always take it one game at a time. Um, I've, I was always telling the guys, you know, take it one game at a time, because I've been here for two rough seasons. Uh, you just got to take it a game at a time and, you know, never stop working. We haven't stopped working and things are clicking now. How much fun is this just to be a, a part of, especially from where you were at the end of non-conference play to where you are now? Um, it's very fun, you know, to win, but we have to know what fun is. You know, fun is not jacking up shots. You know, it's not playing selfish offense. Fun is playing defense, helping out a teammate, um, doing little stuff that it's not going to show up on the stat sheet. You know, playing team defense, all that stuff, and then the outcome will be fine. That's when we start having fun. We, but we have to, Coach Cronin's always preached, you got to work hard. You have to get in on the defensive end. You got to get deflections, you know, it's, it's that kind of stuff. And then we get easy, easy dunks, easy layups on the other end. That's what makes it fun.